Hey everybody, it's the Chris and Des Show. I'm Chris. And I'm Des. And today we're going to do our Screen Actors Guild um, Awards prediction. So we already know who the nominees are. The award show is on this Sunday on TBS or TNT at 5 p.m. Pacific Time or 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, and so we'll be watching and looking forward to it. Uh, Lily Tomlin's getting the Lifetime Achievement Award. We love Lily Tomlin. Love and Dolly Parton and Jane Fonda will be giving it to her. So... There's one reason to tune in right there, because she'll be fantastic. <laughs> the 9 to 5 crew. <clears throat> the 9 to 5 crew, and we love those ladies for sure. Um, so the first, we'll just do the movie nominees. They also do TV too, but we're uh, sticking with the movie stuff. So the film awards. The first one is Stunt, Ensemble, and Emotion Picture. And the nominees are Captain America, Civil War, Doctor Strange, Nocturnal Animals, Hacksaw Ridge, and Jason Bourne. I'm going to go with Hacksaw Ridge. I'm going to go with Hacksaw yeah, Ridge. Yeah, I was going to say. I'm going with Hacksaw Ridge I think for sure. that's who it's going to be. Even though... I loved all those. Those are actually all those really are good really movies. Those are really good movies. Um, and the sense in all of them, the sense of Doctor Strange are really good. And Captain, Captain America, America always has yeah. really good. But Hacksaw Ridge was so realistic. And so, yeah. Like too realistic. I think, I think I'm going to go with that. Yeah. I'm going to go with that. That's my prediction. Sorry. I, we were on the, the award screen and then I mixed it up. And the next one is uh, Best Supporting Actress in a motion picture, and the nominees are Viola Davis in Fences, Nicole Kidman in Lion, Naomi Harris in Moonlight, Octavia Spencer in Hidden Figures, and Michelle Williams in Manchester by the Sea. The exact same five were nominated for Oscars. Mm. No differences there. Mm. And they're all fantastic yeah. actresses. I'm going to go with Viola. Viola. She's going to take this one home. Yeah. Again, you know, my little hesitation, it's not really a supporting role. but It's I, for sure I, not a supporting role. But she is fantastic. Because if it wasn't Viola Davis, I, I think... I think that's kind of not fair. Yeah, I think it's kind of fair, too. But Is it the movie that puts her up for whether yeah, it's... Yeah, that puts it up for that. There's no... I think the Academy needs to have, like, a, a, a limit. Party. of Like, this is not... Have rules set. Like, if you're in yeah. this much of the film, then you're not. It's in, a lot of people argue that with Catherine Zeta-Jones when she won her... Act, when she won Best Supporting Actress... And it was like, well, she's on the screen almost exactly the same amount of time as oh, Renee for, Zellweger for Chicago. For Chicago. Uh, and yeah, you're right. They're both leads. Yeah. Um, both <clears throat> and so it's easy to win supporting when you are in almost all the film. Because it's like, oh, yeah, we, she was great the whole time. Yeah, they should have like that. a third, like the the accounting firm that yes, counts them all up. Needs so gets to watch the movie and say, okay, she's the actor, best the actress, and she's a supporting actress. Right. And yeah. that's what they're qualified for. Yeah. Because... There's no way that's a supporting actress. Yeah, role. there's not. But that is the lead. She's a lead, and she's amazing in it. She she's is amazing, amazing. So, so she deserves an she award. Deserves, right. Absolutely. Because uh, I think without that, I think Michelle Williams would have a really good chance. Because yeah, she, because Michelle Williams does this thing where it's like just two scenes, but those two scenes, you're like, oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> uh, and Naomi Harris and Moonlight too, same thing. There are yeah. a few scenes with Naomi Harris. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, then supporting actor in a motion picture. Maharshala Ali for Moonlight, Jeff Bridges for Hell or High Water, Hugh Grant for Florence Foster Jenkins, mm. Lucas Hedges for Manchester by the Sea, and Dev Patel for Lion. Um, the only difference between this and the Oscars is the Oscars chose Michael Shannon from Nocturnal Animals, and the SAG chose Hugh Grant. So the rest of them are the same besides those. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I say I'm, Maharshala. Yeah, I think I'm going Maharshala. Oh, they're all great, That though. was what a part. Oh, my oh, goodness. I know. He's so good. Yeah, he's really good. And you know what makes that... I don't want to spoil it for you, but he's, don't spoil it. he's more in the beginning of Moonlight <laughs> than the rest of it. And yeah. you think about him the whole time and how, I, at least I did, like how yeah. he influenced this boy and how he mm -hmm. changed this boy. Um, especially in the connection with Janelle Monet's character and she continues in more of the film and it's like, you're thinking about him and he's a great job. Mm -hmm. He does a really great yeah. job. Uh, best actress, or they call him female actor in a leading role. Oh, correct. Amy Adams, Arrival. Emily Blunt, The Girl on the Train, Natalie Portman, Jackie, Emma Stone, La La Land, and Meryl Streep, Florence Foster Jenkins. So this one is different. Those two people are different. Uh, Amy Adams and Emily Blunt didn't make it into the Oscars. That uh, They were replaced by Ruth Nega and Isabel Hubert. And so I'm thinking, you know what? I'm thinking Natalie Portman, actually. I know yeah. uh, Emma Stone is like what everyone is saying, Emma Stone, but I think, I don't know. I, if, if it I was up to those, me, yeah. I didn't see uh, The Girl on the Train. So I haven't seen that movie, but of the rest, the remaining four, I would say Natalie Portman. Yeah, hands down. And you know, I loved Emma Stone Lala. And don't get me wrong, she was she really was good. But, but I would even choose Meryl's acting performance probably oh, over yeah. hers as well too. Yeah, because that's like a whoa, you know, a Meryl is amazing. Meryl. Uh, and then male actor in a leading role: Casey Affleck, Manchester by the Sea; Andrew Garfield, Hacksaw Ridge. 
Ryan Gosling, La La Land, Viggo Mortensen, Captain Fantastic, and Denzel Washington Fences. Same as the Oscars, same five. Yeah, what do you think, Des? I don't know. I think I'm going... I will tell you this. Oh, so good. Denzel Washington has never won a Screen Actors I've, Guild Award. Yeah. So that, I think, I mean, is he's leading due. some people that, into this that. This would be the role for yeah. it because that he's the whole movie. He is the movie, and it is intense. I would say Denzel, yeah. I'm going to go with Casey Affleck just because I think he's going to win the Oscar, so I'm going to... probably will. Go with that. But you're right. I know. It's either Denzel or Casey. I just like I just like Denzel's. I just like that. It's a showier know. performance yeah, for it's sure. Harder. Casey's that whole movie too. Yeah, he's the whole movie too. Yeah. So it's it's but so is Viggo Mortensen really and yeah, Andrew, Garfield, Andrew Garfield but <clears throat> and Ryan Gosling and, yeah, yeah with Tide and him and Emma Stone can carry that yeah. too. So yeah, I'll say Casey. Let's, I'm gonna say Denzel. We'll see okay. what happens. I think. I think they both have a good shot. And then, then instead of doing a best picture because it's actors, the Screen Actors Guild giving actors other awards, it's best cast. So cast in a motion picture, the nominees are Captain Fantastic, Fences, Hidden Figures, Manchester by the Sea, and Moonlight. The, the cool thing is that Janelle Monet and Mahershala Ali will win if Hidden Figures wins and will win <laughs> if Moonlight wins. So both good for <laughs> both those people. So yay, Janelle Monet is going to maybe get one too. I think cast wise, I say Moonlight. I think that cast yeah. is that is that is good. That the, is good. W- the the good thing about Moonlight though is, but that cast doesn't work together. Yeah. I mean, what makes it a good cast is the progression of the story mm-hmm. and who they chose to play mm-hmm. this boy mm-hmm. in those three stages of life. But they don't. They're not together. They're not right. together. I'm. I think I'm going to say Hidden Figures. Oh wow! Just for because that. The, the way that those characters all work together and, and well, or Captain Fantastic, they work all together too. Oh, man, it's hard. I'm just going to go with my first answer was Hidden Figures. Yes. And I say Moonlight. So, Janelle, we're hoping you get an <laughs> Both of us are hoping you get an yes. award tonight. Uh, either one. And, yeah, and I think Mahershala will get his second because I think he's going to win the other yeah. one too, obviously. So. Yeah. Uh, so, tune in on Sunday. Let us know what you guys think. And, um who you think is going to win, and yeah, we'll talk to you later. Bye.